Uh, going over to the political part podcast, you have Kamal Harris's VP Tim Waltz saying that you have uh, no right to free speech for um, quote unquote misinformation or hate speech. Which, granted, he's a politician, and most politicians, I don't, I don't think they've ever actually read the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, or the Federalist Papers, or pretty much anything by the Founding Fathers, which is unfortunate. There's probably an exam because there are many people, left and right, that appear to have no intelligence at all when it comes to what our country is founded on and what we stand for. And a lot of them are saying the quiet part out loud more and more, which I love because, again, more data the better. Let everyone know these policies. Let everyone know where they stand. Let the voters decide. And we'll see where it happens. Hopefully, well, again, if they actually try to ban free speech, it will get sent to, it'll always be settled in the courts and the lawsuits, of course. And, I mean, Bill of Rights is pretty gosh darn clear, so you would think. So they'll rule in our favor eventually. Now, it comes with us thanks to End Wokeness on next Twitter. He says, quote, holy shit, Governor, or sorry, Governor Tim Watts says no right to free speech if the government decides it's misinformation or hateful. This, da- this man is a dangerous commie, which, fact check, true. And this is on an interview, I guess, he did with MSB, MSNBC, which, at least he did suit up. He did one thing in his life right. Might be a short list, but he did do that. All right, here we go. I think we need to push back on this. There, there's no guarantee to free speech on misinformation or, or hate speech, and especially around our democracy. I- Spoiler alert, there absolutely is. Now, you might be an a-hole if you say things that are hateful. I mean... You might not have a lot of friends, especially if you, in the United States these days, you come out as, um, if you're coming out as a racist, you're not going to get a job anywhere. You're not going to have many friends in your corner. You'll be socially ostracized, but it is your right as an American to say it. The purpose of the Bill of Rights is specifically to design the things, or to design and protect the things that are not popular, or not controversial. I mean, to say, I mean, nowadays it seems like everything is so controversial, even if you come out and say, this is a twig, someone else would say, oh, this is a branch. And of course, there'd probably be a public debate on that. Again, uncontroversial things like water is good for you, as long as it's not, you know, Detroit or uh, Flint, Michigan water. I mean, they say water is good for you. No one is going to try to ban that speech. Everyone's probably, probably going to say, well, yeah, man, water is good, yeah. That's not controversial. No one's going to file a lawsuit about that. No one's going to try to cancel you. No one's going to try to blacklist you or shadow ban you because of that statement. I mean, of all the, of all the speech, the unpopular speech is the one that needs to be guarded because it's the one that is going to be under threat of being canceled, being shadow banned, being erased from history. Again, when it comes to any debate or public ideas, I mean, you want as many ideas out there to get the best ideas to brew to the surface. And same misinformation. So many things have been proven wrong over the past couple of years. Many things that still get me banned on places like YouTube, or more for now, not banned, but videos are just pulled off immediately. So you can't even talk about them, medical things. Even if the facts, yeah, especially if the facts don't align with what the message is being told. And the government, they themselves have changed their opinions on a myriad of things throughout the years, especially recently. I mean, one of the best use cases that was pivotal in the election, 2020 election was the Hunter Biden laptop. We had 50 government officials who were all signed on saying it's completely Russian disinformation, it's completely, as British would say, bollocks, it's wrong. And in social media, all shadow banned, they all cracked down, they wouldn't let it be shared. Because they said there's misinformation if you report on it. And we now know that was, it's, it's a fact. So, spoiler alert, the, I mean, the government lied. Who would have thought they'd do that? And also, if the government was to control social media, which again, they already have them doing the most, an overwhelming majority of social media is already doing their bidding, which again, like constitutionally legal in terms of restricting free speech. There's only one or two. You have X Twitter, thankfully, and Rumble, which is awesome. So, you have some free speech left. It's not very many options these days. But there's some. If the government was in charge of all of them, that would be horrifying. I mean, I can't think of a single upside of the government controlling speech. It'd be the worst thing in history. And again, I know they don't teach much much history in public schools. Again, I have said I just have to carry out. There are a couple of good public school teachers. I know a couple of them. They're exceptional. They're awesome. But yeah, the U.S. control the U.S. big government controlling uh, all the schools probably isn't a great thing. Or but uh, yeah, so one of the things where if they actually taught history more. They would show that, oh yeah, every time the government cracks down on individual rights, the worst, most evil things in history always happen. Every single time. And this is someone who's running for VP of the United States saying, well, the eh, well, government's going to come in. We're, we're going to clamp down on this. And this isn't one of the things where it's a pie-in-the-sky conspiracy theory. It's already being rolled out in other communism areas like Canada, as well as the UK. It's evil. 
you you get arrested or fined in may, in some countries if you just so much as quote unquote misgender someone, or if you just critique the government, especially especially in Canada, which is a lot of material to work with because the little bastard of Castro or alleged bastard of Castro has has trampled on so many individual rights. I read a couple of books on that because there's so much material there. But if you're a citizen of there or that country, heaven forbid, well, you can get fined or imprisoned for crit critiquing the government. It's ridiculous. And don't say it can't happen here because it can. A lot of people are especially worried it will. Some individual states are already passing laws that are restricting more and more free speech. Michigan, again, please, I believe it only passed the House has been signed off on yet, but they want to make it illegal to misgender someone. Which again, a lot of people who are well, biologists or, you know, religious folks or just average Americans, they realize that compelled speech is not only evil, but it's also totalitarian. And you're also messing with someone's individual individual rights or individual beliefs. Also science, real science. But I partially digress. Let's see what the folks in the comments have to say. Maybe I'm alone in this analysis. Well, Brent Pretty Val got 1.9 million views and 30,000 likes. One of the first ones coming from End Wokeness. I also said, quote, Hi, Matt Welkling, doing an amazing job exposing the radical Harris Waltz ticket, getting 1.4 thousand likes. The Liz variant used, looks like they used some AI or some type of, was it Adobe? I don't know, they look like overweight superheroes, but it has uh, Tim and Kamala with him having tampons in his nose. It says, Super Commies! As a good old, as a Russian hammer stick line, getting 200 likes. Gunther Eagleman says, quote, he's a farm less left commie who likes horses and tampons, getting 1.4 thousand likes. The rabbit hole says misinformation experts have a certain leaning which can impact which speech is deemed and which is not a risky path to go down. It shows the political leaning of misinformation experts. It says far left, about 15%, fairly left, 43-ish percent, uh, slightly left, 30, or sorry, 28%, center, about 10%. Slightly right, 5%, 0, fairly right, and 0, far right. Yep. Extremely one-sided, which again is not good. I got 561 likes. Cal Rugg says, quote, if these two get into office, they'll immediately target X, getting 996 likes. True. You have Paul Zupa say, quote, there's no guarantees of free speech. I'm quoting 218 likes. That's literally the point of the Bill of Rights. Yet this came as saying, oh yeah, there's no, eh, there's no guarantee. Can you not read... I mean, is that above his pay grade? Or maybe he's just evil, and he knows he's just going to trample on the Constitution and build rights. Playing of memes, oh God, again, no meme, I'm a little disappointed. They say, quote, the Democrat Party is fully embraced communism, getting 178 likes. Cash Lauren says, Tampon Tim is a full-blown communist, getting 30 likes. Rick Suit says, only the government is allowed to use misinformation, right, Tim? Getting 663 likes. One for me, too. Mindy Robinson says, or what you F, uh, cover your ears if you have children listening, but she says, um, or what you fat fuck. I believe in Jesus and the afterlife. I doubt things, uh, I doubt the slags you send after me do. And 251 likes. Look at Media TM has the MP, was it the MPC or the NPR? Political fun, kind of. Uh, the group of NPC people and it says, free speech is dangerous unless the rules control it. And 366 likes. AKA says it's dangerous as, as up, getting 136 likes. Yeah, Amit Shaw parody saying Tim wants driver's license for illegals. Weak, failed, dangerously liberal, just like Kamala, getting 32 likes. Which, yeah, they thought it'd be a good idea to incentivize illegal immigration by giving them a driver's license. And a path to vote, getting 32 likes. Let's see if there's any contrarian statements here. Because, again, there are some morally and mentally vexed people who think, oh, yeah. Speech is violence. It's terrible. It's evil. Let's see here. Scrolling down more and more. Trump. Truth Trump lies. It says, I forget what it is. The little meme with the little cartoon that's screaming. It says, what do we want? And it says, free speech. And they say, for everybody? And this response, just for us. Getting 10 likes. So yeah, but all the policies that, you know, they have running for them in terms of the Kamala Tim ticket. I mean, this should be one of the biggest things that come to people's attention on the campaign trail. Everyone should realize how scary this is. And hopefully, I mean, there's a huge ripple effect. Hopefully more and more people see that video. Hopefully more and more people realize they actually want to ban free speech. They want to ban speech they don't agree with. Hopefully the average American still believes in free speech. I'm 
a little pessimistic on how many of them truly do, but hopefully they, enough of them still do that they actually will go and fight for it at the ballot booth and actually vote differently. But let me know. Do you think, again, there are many people who think, you know, you shouldn't have free speech. Do you think those outnumber the, those, the people who do? Let me know in the comments. As always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.